Okay. All right. In this video, we're going to do a strike. We're going to retouch, uh, recap over the four high guards and talk about some strikes that kind of flow um, naturally from these guards. So, <clears throat> guard positions are not necessarily, at least for us, is not very, uh, not very rigid. Uh, they represent platforms in which our blade travels and which we can launch um, other attacks from or other defenses from. So um, there's a little bit of play in how certain movements are done. So for example, in the first high guard, we're here kind of more over the head. Sometimes the sword can uh, travel over to one side. Now, some guards are gonna work better with sword and shield. Others are gonna be okay with just single sword. So we're just kind of um, going through all of these, showing them both with single sword and with sword and shield just to kind of get the idea out there. But um, this high guard here, best with the shield, but if I wanted to kind of make it a little safer for me so this elbow is not hanging out, I can kind of can it back a little bit or even kind of bring my hand up a little higher. Um, you'll see these kind of positions where this high guard kind of floats from being on top here, even to the side and even kind of back. And some of the other guards we haven't touched on actually show the sword back in this position. So there's a lot of variations with having this high position. Anyhow, so I'm going to start here and I'm going to try not to extend my elbow past my knee and have it back a little bit. So from this position here, my cuts can come, of course, angle one can come, angle two can come. I can get my horizontals in pretty easily and then my overhead strikes. Um, a little bit more tweaking, my diagonal from, up to, from underneath can come as well. Uh, with a little bit of body twisting, I can get these to work. So once again, my first ones is naturally gonna flow from here to be my overhead. My diagonal's either fluid or broken my horizontal cuts, and then kind of secondary will be these, these um, uh, diagonals coming from underneath, all right? So you can work these at home, both with uh, weapon side back, weapon side forward, and you can just do your one overhead, two, one, again, play with moving the hand, Ooh, there's my two, and one, and again, here, three, four, overhead all right so that's for the first high guard second high guard here the sword is uh, protecting the whole head and um, this right here is kind of baiting and enticing the person to you know come in and go for that leg same strikes we have available our diagonals our overhead I have my upper diagonal as well come back to this position my horizontal strikes flow pretty easily from there overhead again Diagonal, two, three, four, okay? Once again, for this position, here I have my diagonals, my overhead, and then my upward diagonals. And then, of course, my horizontal.